industrial automation, we talk a lot about collaborative robots, cobots, robots working side by side with workers on the line. But not everything is designed to replace a worker. There are all technologies out there that can assist a worker. I'm with Mark Anderson. He's head of robotics and products in North America for Comal. Uh, Mark, I am, I'm wearing an exoskeleton here, and it, it's essentially almost like a part of me. Uh, what am I wearing? Uh, you're wearing our Kamau Mate. It's our passive exoskeleton product. Uh, it was designed to reduce fatigue in uh, operators or folks who wear it in their shoulder chain by up to 30%. Now, it's uh, repetitive, repetitive strain injuries, a uh, very, very common problem in industrial applications. Uh, people tend to uh, assemble things especially. Uh, fasteners, faster tightening, moving parts, this kind of thing. This device I'm wearing here is not battery powered. We're not looking at a servo operated device here, but I can feel it sort of holding my arms up. Yeah, it has seven levels of support. Right now, you're set to a four. Each arm can be tuned independently. Uh, we have a sizing chart that also helps with trying to identify where the sweet spot should be for each person that wears it. Um, it it's really a personal device that will have to be set for each individual based on their height, their weight, their sex, and what type of activity they're doing. It feels much like um, a, a hiker's backpack in the way it, it feels on my back. Yeah, so um, we come out, we're a product company, we're a solutions provider, and we partnered with a company called Osur, um, who are really experts in how the, the kinematics of the body work. They know um, how uh, uh, the shoulders should move, how the legs and feet should move, because they've been making prosthetics for many years. Um, so they've helped us design a very compact and lightweight unit that people are generally happy to wear. Now, I, um, you mentioned adjustability. It's, I feel the different levels, of course, of support and you adjusted it just before we, uh, we went on camera. So uh, hypothetically, I have a small petite worker, a very large muscular one, I can fine tune the device to the individual worker? Yeah, most definitely. Our exoskeleton comes in two different sizes. We have a sl small slash medium. We also have a large slash extra large. Um, it can be adjusted in many different ways. We have a shoulder strap that's adjustable, two straps underneath the arm, and there's a back uh, support uh, that can be extended and lowered to ensure that we have the proper fit for, for each individual that wears it. Uh, workplace productivity, worker safety, uh, ever more important in the factory floor at this point. Is this, this a practical way perhaps to for older workers, it's hard to find workers at all now, uh, to, to stay active for workers who perhaps are more slight of build to do heavier lifting? What's the application here? Is it, would it be packaging, warehousing, factory automation? You know, we've seen a wide range of people who've been interested in this product. Um, I, I can't say that it's it's more suitable for one for the one over the other. But what I can say is we are asking more and more from our workers every day, um, and, and every day everybody is getting older. So this device, uh, with our you know our product, our mate, is designed to to keep people working, um, uh, you know, with support, with less fatigue for a longer period of time. A deceptively simple but highly effective way to get your workers to work more smoothly and effectively with less fatigue. This is Mark Anderson of Comal.